Hey, it's Mike. Thanks for tuning back in. Happy Friday. Today I'm going to do a video about whatnot. And whatnot is what I think could be a hot new way to sell or buy, and in my case, buy sports cards. Uh, cheaply, quickly, um, excitingly. I think I just made up that word. Uh, I think it's a really cool opportunity. Now I also have a uh, medium-sized eBay purchase I'm going to open up here on this in a minute and the batch of my first whatnot buys. So I, I bought these in a live stream, I don't know, I think on Monday. That's how quick this group got them to me. So I'm excited about that. I don't even remember what I bought. I remember some of the cards that I bid on that didn't get. Uh, <clears throat> so whatnot is I think a fairly new app. I've been hearing about it in uh, other YouTube videos like Pac-Man is doing whatnot videos and they're doing a lot of giveaways trying to pump up whatnot i guess so i actually just took about a 30 minute break when we had a tree guy come over to look at our trees but i'm back now um, hopefully it's not even obvious that i was gone for 30 minutes here if i edited this appropriately uh, <clears throat> so whatnot has become really popular um, they recently you, you may remember the lebron triple logo man they issued a bounty and uh, it was for, they were gonna give away a 2021 Lamborghini to anybody who pulled the Triple Logo Man and then sold it on their live stream. Uh, it was pulled, it was found, and I don't believe it was sold on their live stream. I think it was sold on Golden Auctions maybe, or some big auction house. Uh, <clears throat> that doesn't preclude it from being sold on one of their live streams in the future, I guess, but uh, pro probably, much more likely that you're gonna get a, a big amount of money for that triple logo man on a big auction house. But even even with it going on a big auction house, it's still only sold for I think like two and a half million, 2.4 million. Uh, I think it was two million plus a $400,000 buyer's premium. So I guess when you have that kind of money to pay for one card, the 20% buyer's premium, $400,000, no big deal, must be nice. So uh, I have been on WhatNot maybe half a dozen times in the last two weeks. Um, I like watching some of the live streams I have started bidding now that I know what I'm getting myself into and understanding what it is. Locally here in Maine, Don's Sports Card Center has their own live stream and they've been trying out some things. Uh, I love seeing small companies like that trying new things, trying to figure it out. <clears throat> it's, uh, it says a lot about the new owner and what he's trying to do with that card shop. Um, so on these live streams, what you can do up in the top, you see who is... Actually, I'm going to move over a little bit here and I'm going to put up a video while I talk. Uh, a video I recorded. So up in the top, you see the company that I'm watching the live stream of and what their average review is, the review score. Uh, and so they, they'll put cards up on the screen and it's, it's up pretty close. It's, a, it's an interesting, it's kind of like uh, TikTok, I guess. I don't do TikTok, but my wife and daughter do. And it's, it's vertical video, uh, close up cards right there in front of you. you. What you do when you sign up is you, you put in your payment information right then. So I have my debit card in there and that and my address so if i buy a card they don't need to wait for me to pay and down in the bottom right hand corner you can see a button that says pay i think and that's so if you don't pre-enter all pre-enter all of your information you pay every time you win something which seems like a pain to me i wouldn't want to do that i actually have my information in there automatically so if i buy something it automatically takes something takes the money out of my checking account so i i do the prepay so that as soon as I win something it automatically takes it out and they know what my shipping address is I, it's completely simple it's kind of like uh, well it's actually easier than eBay because on eBay you have to pay for each item after you've won it and confirm a bunch of stuff so <clears throat> now there are a couple of different auction types that I've seen so far one of them is sudden death which is they put on a certain time like 30 seconds for this auction and you can put in your bids at any point uh, but what you find is that some people snipe the auction at the last second 
Um, so you overcome that by having, I don't even know what the other type of auction is, but it adds a certain number of seconds for every bid. Uh, so if you bid with one second left, it's gonna add two or three seconds on so people can continue to bid and there's no sniping. And uh, they, if you started at a dollar, it's gonna go up by a dollar each time until you get to a certain amount, like, I don't know if it's six or $10, and then it'll start going up by $2, and then by three once you get to a certain amount, and then by four, and et cetera, et cetera. And so the higher the bidding goes, the bigger the increments of each bid. You can follow certain breakers, I guess. They're not really breakers. Uh, I follow Don's locally here, and um, BitG Breaks is the other one. I really, really like BitG Breaks. They've really figured it out. They do a lot of stuff. Every Tuesday night, they do a vintage auction, which I should have filmed. Uh, I wish I had bought more from that one. I actually got a 62 Kofax that's coming in the mail. Uh, Monday, I think. This one is more of a mix. I don't remember what I bought, to be honest with you, but I know some of it's... I'm really excited about it. Uh, and so BitG Breaks, you can see, I think that's who this video is that I've, I'm going to post here. I don't remember. Maybe it's Don's. I don't remember. What I'm finding right now is that uh, it's a really good way for these companies to sell excess inventory to a an audience that is just excited about sports cards and so uh, if I were to be selling stuff and I'm considering selling some excess vintage that I have uh, it would basically be stuff that I am willing to give up for basically lower than I might get at like a sports card show I just want to get rid of inventory I, I say inventory like I'm a dealer I'm not but if I were a dealer I would think well I can sell this stuff cheap now bit G breaks has starting started to uh, to test out selling things at higher price points so they they have cards and they say i want to get at least 150 dollars for this so they start the bidding at 150 dollars that's the minimum they'll they'll take it seems like they're just testing that out because th when i first started they were starting everything at a dollar and then sometimes they might start one at like five dollars um, but i've seen some cards that were worth hundreds go for 50 or 60 dollars because the audience isn't there yet for it and so they've taken that risk and they know that that's there and they, they've never complained oh that went way too low and they learn from it um, and I love that so in here you can also see upcoming streams or upcoming shows I guess you might call them and uh, what they are about or what they might be selling um, you can follow whatever companies that you want the their average rating for sales uh, you can see any existing live streams you can see the number of people watching up in the top there. So that is a quick overview of whatnot. I'm gonna turn my camera around and show you my recent eBay purchase and get into these whatnot cards that I won in auction. If this is your kind of thing, please click on that subscribe button and click like and press that bell icon to make sure you get the notifications on this. One thing I forgot to mention is that if you sign up based on the link click on the link in my the description of this video uh, you and then you make a purchase on whatnot you will get ten dollar credit on whatnot and so will I so if you're gonna sign up for whatnot just click through on the description to this video sign up through there and you and I both benefit from that all right let's see what this one is I actually know what this is this is what I consider a medium-sized purchase bunch of inserts and there it is sandy alcantara is how i'm told to pronounce this unlike the recent uh sandy Alcant or the alcantras of baseball this is apparently pronounced alcantara certainly on track to win the, the cy young this year and his stats at his age put him on a if you ignore wins and losses which the hall of fame tends to now they are definitely on track for a hall of fame career and I got this extraordinarily cheap for first Bowman Chrome Auto. So super excited about this. <clears throat> That's in great shape. And this is the kind of card I would consider sending to PSA if I, if I were to do a PSA order. I considered actually signing up for PSA Collectors Club because they're doing $18 per card uh, at the National. 
but you have to sign up for Collectors Club, which is $99 a year, and the maximum value is $199. And that, unlike SGC, your value is decided, I think, based on a PSA 10 estimated value. So not appealing to me, unfortunately. Let's see if they sent me any anything good here. Sometimes I get some some superstars or Hall of Famers that I will keep. There, there's Votto. All right, so Alcantara. In the comments, let me know. Have you used Whatnot? Would you? And what you think of it? <clears throat> All right. So this is the package. And this is what I'm talking about. You've got like Max Kranick. I've never heard of this guy. I don't follow modern baseball that closely, but I got a, a rookie auto of this guy for a dollar. So they just throw out cards that they don't want to have hanging around and they put up a minimum bid of a dollar and I sat on it because I'm not interested in this guy. And then I was like, nobody else is going to bid on it. A buck, sure. Derek Jeter, rookie. And this is score 96 and they packaged them with this Rivera. I got the two of these for like three bucks, I think. So some junk wax goodness. Score 96 now. Jeter, of course, rookie, I think 93. And Rivera, 92 Bowman. But uh, two cards that have two of the greatest of all time uh, that both say rookie on them. Cards I had never seen before, as a matter of fact. And in what appears to be spectacular shape for a couple bucks. And this is Zion rookie that I didn't have. I got for, I think, $2. Oh yeah, it was two of them, or three of them, for a few dollars. James Wiseman, I mean, these are these are modern cards that I got for a buck a piece. And then this is a, I don't know, you guys know what I think about modern cards. This is a mosaic something, I don't know. And then I've never heard of Samuel Munoz, and this is a Leaf card, which is not uh, licensed, but this was a dollar for an auto. Flash forward, I don't know who this is. And it's numbered to 99. I'd buy autos for a buck any day. Then this, I love Steph Curry. This is an Origins color, red, I don't know. I love Steph, and this is just a really cool card. I think I paid 10 for this one. And that one's thicker stock, too. Carlton Fisk Auto, really nice auto. And I'm a Red Sox fan. I paid a little bit more for this one, like... 10 or $12, maybe. This is on the 87 Tops design. So I thought that was really neat. <laughs> Pat Mahomes. I don't even collect football, but it was a dollar. And it was cool looking. And then another Pat Mahomes. These two, I think this pair came to me for $2. So, who knows? I don't know if that's good. All right, thanks for watching.